Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our merch store. We'll have a link down below in the description. It's January 25th today, 2022. Uh, it's a little cold this morning, about 11 o'clock in the morning, and it's about 8 below right now. I don't know what we hit last night, but I think it was supposed to be 17 or 18 below. So anyway, I'm going out now. We just got some odd jobs and stuff to do today. Um, I'm going to get some silage mixed up for the cows this morning. Nor I usually do it a little earlier, but being this cold, I had to skid steer plugged in a little bit longer. So that should, hopefully that'll start now. So I'm just going to top off the wood stove here and uh, we'll go see if that'll fire up. Well, I guess we'll plug it in a little longer and just give the cows some hay for now. Well, we're in the barn here now, just gonna feed some hay. Um, we've had a few questions about the barn and how we keep it warm in the winter, if we have heat in here or anything. And the only heat we have in here is just made by the cows. Um, and then I run, got a fan on the end of the barn that just blows out. It's on a thermostat so I can set it. We keep it about 40 degrees in here. If it gets too much warmer than that, it's not very comfortable for the cows, so. Um, so yeah, the cows just provide their own heat, so that makes saves a lot of money that way. Oh, big stretch. Jumper, Tapper, I do believe you boys are worthless as farm cats because there's a whole bunch of birds in here. Isn't that supposed to be your job to take care of them? happy look at your whiskers <laughs> look at your whiskers <laughs> a little frosty <laughs> It's stuck! 
electric lightning. That's accuracy right there. I would use a splitter, but it's so dang cold. Take me forever to get that warmed up. It's gonna take you forever for me to do it. Yeah, but you'll be warm. <laughs> oh, sure. Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. It's Thursday, January 27th today. Uh, it's actually pretty nice out today. It's 20 above zero. So that's quite a bit warmer than we've had it in a while. Um, actually warm enough, I'm gonna let the cows out of the barn. Let them get out and stretch their legs for a while today. But last night it got down to about 30 below zero and we had a wound up with a pretty good wind that came in. So up here in our heifer barn, we got an automatic waterer here that's heated. Um, but the wind must have come in under the door some. And it, uh, this kind of kind of common, we've had this happen before. But inside of here where the water line comes in, where that valve is there, um, someplace under the floor, that line froze up. We've had that happen in the past quite a bit. So, uh, the last couple of years it hasn't, but wind gets just right. It causes a little trouble there. So anyway, I, uh, got a guy coming with a little steamer, I guess, a little jetter type thing, but with steam, he can fit down inside that three quarter inch line and steam that ice out so we can get that water going again. got them out they'll enjoy that they've been in the barn for quite a few days now with that cold stretch we've had so i usually like to try to let them out even if it's real cold for an hour or so but the wind has been so crazy with that cold that 
I haven't even really done that because it, that wind with the cold it can really cause frostbite bad on their udders and stuff. So, so but they've been comfortable in the barn. They get bedding, they got rubber mats, they got water and everything. So, but it does them good to get out and stretch. Sounds like some warmer weather coming up. So they'll be, then they'll be going out probably every day then again. But anyway, now I got the lift cylinder back for that older Gale skid loader at 4400 so I'm gonna go uh, put that on and see if see if that takes care of our leaks I did it had a hose that was leaking too and I did replace that I had another hose here for it uh, we had bought a parts machine that come with all new hoses but the o-rings were bad on it so I put some o-rings on it that I had here I'm hoping they're hoping they're right if they're not i guess i'll have to get some in town but we'll try and see what see what we see what happens well my battery died on the camera here so i finished putting that cylinder in uh not on camera but i got it in there now i got it fired up that took a little bit sitting here in the shade I didn't have it plugged in so I plugged it in for a while and uh, got it fired up so now I'm gonna see I put some hydraulic oil in it because it was pretty low so we'll uh, see make sure it's all working I ran it a little bit just to kind of bleed the air out of that cylinder but I haven't haven't taken it down off the lock yet or anything so we'll see if it'll do that now and then we'll go and I got the bale spear on it. If it's working, we'll take, I think the dry cows need a bale, so we'll put a bale out for them. You can hear it's got a little bit of a mist to it. it uh, I flooded it out pretty good trying to get it started there. So I'm gonna take it and run it. We go feed that bale and see if it'll clear up. Otherwise I probably gotta throw a plug in it or something. But I'm gonna get a knife here to cut the twines and we'll go try it. out right now because I see they still got quite a bit left in the feeder this bale had been on the ground in the shed so the bottom's gonna be a little bit of waste so I don't want to put that on top of good hay I figured it'd be have that empty today but they did so I'll just leave it here and I'll uh, put it out probably tomorrow or something so anyway I'm gonna bring this back down to the garage it's still missing a little I'm gonna see if I got another plug for it it hits once in a while but it doesn't want to catch so We'll see if we can find another one. All right, I just got a call from the guy that's coming to steam out the water line there. He should be here in a couple minutes, so I'm going to 
get some stuff ready I'll shut the water off so when it opens up it doesn't flood us out in there and then I got to pull the valve off the end so he can get in there so I'm gonna do that right now before he gets here How small of a pipe can you get into? Can you get into half inch or three quarter about the minimum? About three quarter plastic is about as small as I dare go. Oh yeah. No, if it was a real straight piece of half inch, you know, rigid. Oh yep, yep. Or it wasn't uh, even if it wasn't rigid, as long as it wasn't too serious. This right here. Well, it's working now. They're all happy. They get to come in and drink, so. Didn't take much, but a little bit of ice just under the floor, that'll that'll stop it up. So, you, know, you can probably hear it running there, but. So anyway, that's good we got that done. I'm gonna probably put some, a little more insulation on this side of the heater here. I've got some in there now. Part of what I noticed, there was a uh, mice had been in there, and they had kind of dug out. It's a cement floor in here, but there's a, enough of a spot there that was dirt where the water line come in. They dug a little hole in there, so I suppose that wind was blowing right in there. So I'll probably insulate that a little better, and hopefully that'll help, but uh, should be good now. <laughs> 